go back to control. What does that really mean? Because I had difficulty. You know personally, mm -hmm. I had difficulty because we have been told, I I'm a single parent, I'm a single mother, mm -hmm. I'm a single woman, and I've had people always, you know, saying, well, you know, you shouldn't be so in control. I am in mm -hmm. control of my destiny and my purpose in life, but, you know, what does that really mean, being in control? Mm -hmm. Talk to us about being in control. What does it really mean? Okay, well, you, you as well, you know, my basic philosophy is we are, there are four different de uh, degrees of us uh, is in terms of human beings, mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional. Mm -hmm. And that at any given point in time, movement on one of those mm -hmm. creates movement on the others. Mm -hmm. So when I say that we are always in control, you are in control of your physical body. Mm -hmm. That's true. If you choose to stand up, you stand up. <laughs> and if you don't, then you won't. <laughs> That's As right. well you know with your grandson, right? That's when, right. And so he lets you know really quickly who's in control. No. When he wants to take a nap, he lays down <laughs> to take a nap. Exactly. And so what I what I what I really mean by that and what I what I what I what I espouse uh, very strongly is that because we are always in control, mm -hmm. we are always in control of our thoughts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're always in control of our emotions. We're mm -hmm. always in control of our spirituality as well as our physical being. Mm -hmm. And so if we are doing something, if we think a thought, if we engage in a behavior, if we're having a feeling, if we are doing something physically that mm -hmm. does not uh, uh, that does not feed us, that does not nourish us, that does not feel good to us, mm -hmm. we can stop. Mm -hmm and do something else. That is under our control. Yes. We have the ability to change the course of any uh, non-preferenced mm -hmm. action or thought that we have.